Hi, I'm Julian Spaber. I'm going to talk about my journey or my experience creating my first GTK application called Teleport. Teleport. Like a year ago or so, I wanted to, uh, to create a GTK application, but didn't know what actually, at, at least at the beginning. And then with a friend, who is actually a designer, we, we were in the same room and where we had to share a file. How do you do? How do you do that? How do you share a file on a lo local network normally? Do you use Samba, network share, um, own cloud, next cloud, instant messaging, email? No, you just give up. Yeah. <laughs> you g give up. You speaky. Best way was speaky, I guess. Who does use USB key? A USB key to share a file in the local network. Yeah. I do that too. So we were thinking about this, uh, how could we um, resolve that problem by um, connecting something like instant messaging to sharing a file, but not to have uh, the file shared with a remote server to upload it somewhere else, because most of the time we don't have a really good internet connection. At least not everybody. Yeah, in Italy it's getting better. Whatever. We focus on the local network to have something like this, a push notification. That you send somebody a file. I'm Julian, by the way. So I'm sending my friend a file, and he will see something like that. Julian's laptop is sending you a file MD as a markdown file, and he can accept it or reject it if you don't like to work with me, whatever. So, yeah, we started to think about this. And our, um, so we can directly go to a demo because it's, it, would, it would be really quick. I did. Uh, why are you not on my Wi Fi? Yeah, the problem uh, with this is that, do you see it now? That on public Wi-Fi, for example, mo uh, many clients can't, um, normally clients can't talk to each other, luckily. And Telegram doesn't work. Do you see it now? No, I can't connect to your phone. Uh, why? No. <laughs> 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 Let's start uh, Telegram. Uh, teleport. I confused those two. Maybe we should change the name. So, this teleport. This is teleport. We keep the user interface quite simple. Oh, okay. I have because before my laptop died. So, no, I can't do it from here. That's so bad. Can I do it? Can I do? Can I use a pseudo like this? Oh yeah, I can do. Oh nice. <laughs> so now I'm searching for devices, and you, you still can't see me. That's crazy. We tried it before. That's so sad. Um, I can try to switch off the, the Wi-Fi and switch it on back. Uh, uh. Maybe your Wi-Fi is just bad. Um, I can use 5G, just actually. Skip the demo. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Not going to show you the demo, sadly. I don't ha even have pictures. Whatever. Can you try to keep connecting to my uh, Wi-Fi? So, get, uh, let's go back to uh, to the project. It's actually design-driven. So, from the very beginning, we focused on we defined a task we want to resolve. What do we want to do? Like solving the problem I described before, sharing a file on a local network. 
obviously, sometimes we have additional problems that Wi-Fi doesn't work. Oh, now it works, actually. Now it works. <laughs> oh, thanks. Awesome. Oh, yes. All right. Oh, alrighty. So we see here that I got a notification and from a photo, actually. Let's see what, uh, what it is. I save it, and I can directly open it here or show it in the folder, but open it. And that's the portal. Does anybody know what's, uh, what's a portal? Flatback flat thing. We're going to talk about it later, slightly. Yeah, they're selling socks. It, it works. And we also have um, like a really nice, uh, let's put it there. Damn it. Like we can drop it there. And he got the same notification or send it there. So it's quite basic. Uh, we have minimal uh, settings for now, but we are working on that. Let's go back to, to the design driven project. Uh, and the description. So we oh no we we focused on the task um, to simplify also uh, the user interaction, and we tried at the beginning to start uh, with just an application which works that we can directly test it on users and um, see what we have to change in the uh, user experience. Like you saw show in folder, previously it was move to folder and we had to, re -impl uh, to implement something like um, uh, actually a file dialog where, which uh, allows the uh, file to be saved somewhere else. But we figured out that it's much easier that we, we just show, uh, showing the download folder and the user can copy it from Nautilus somewhere else. And that's the awesome thing about an MVP, which, uh, what means a minimal valuable product, which is a minimum set of specifications we really need to have a wor working application, and which user can already use. Also, like many designers say, best UI is no UI. We respected that. But we, we went a step further. We think no, uh, the best UI are notifications because they're not distracting as much as in UI when you have to switch to another application. Uh, it's, it's much better integrated in your workflow. Also, a tip for developers. How many developers are here? Most. Who is not a developer? Yeah, more than expected, actually. So my, uh, my suggestion is to get a developer on board. Obviously, not everybody can have a really good friend who is an uh, awesome developer like Tobias is. Design, uh, designer, sorry. Uh, but still, try to get, get one on, on board so that you as a developer can focus on what you're really good at, like actually coding. Um, actually coding and you can do what you love and you don't have to mess with where should I put this button do, do I really care about that but I care about user experience I care about uh, having users if my application isn't usable yeah why do I do that? Uh, why do I do the work right so at the beginning, we, we try to create a, um, a Electron app, which is not native at all. But I, I actually wanted to create a GTK application. So we went to, to, be, uh, to write a uh, native application for, GT, uh, for GNOME, actually. And also, C is not that hard. Who writes C code? Who loves writing C code? Oh, fewer. <laughs> yeah, I like writing C code because it's quite simple. Like you have really basic constructs like f4 and variables, and more or less it, that's it. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> I saw those confused faces, but it's not. I, for the beginning, uh, you can already do something with that. And also, we have really awesome, at least in the GNOME community, we have really awesome applications. And one advantage of, advantage of open source and free software is that we can look at each other. We can look at code of other, other people. And for example, if you want to start GTK development with C, you can have a look at GNOME to do, which is a really awesome app, at, at least code-wise, and the UI is, is getting improved constantly. So um, now we somehow know, know how to start, but uh, how can we ship an application to, um, to users and test the usability and the use, uh, user experience and get an immediate feedback because we are working with designers and also they know, uh, need to know um, what users think, how do they interact. Therefore, we used Flatpak, which is a really awesome, let's say, con container system, package, ma uh, package management. Um, not a technical description. And we used uh, Natli builds. Like, we, uh, for most of the change, we built it, published it, and got uh, often a feedback already. Or we could really easily test it on, uh, on friends' machines or on, also, on a second, we had a home. Then, for the first release, we don't, uh, didn't have to do much because it's already fed-backed. And so, we created a release, it's done, and you can immediately install it to uh, all GNU Linux-based machines. That's the advantage of flatback. And there is uh, a flat hub, which is like an app store for uh, Flatback, um, flatbacks. But since for now, we only created a, a really basic version of Teleport, we obviously have all, already from, from the start um, plans for the future, like, like most people, I think, have uh, plans for the future for their projects. And we are thinking about adding, sending multiple files, but or, um, but that's not as essential to um, to be able to use the app. Also, we would like to add um, a more uh, complete settings uh, menu. Let's call it menu. That, for example, users can change uh, the device name on um, inside Teleport. Also, we would really like to have encryption because when you're when we are on uh, on a public network, yeah, safety should be an issue. Also, we would really like, which actually was m one of the main goals, to have uh, uh, clients for different platforms like Android, iOS, uh, also Windows and Mac OS. If somebody is interested in contributing uh, like a client for another platform, talk to me. I would be excited to get something done there. So we have future plans. Um, so I really hope I got for designers some uh, insight in my progress, how I got started with GTK and how I, uh, how I work. And I hope also that I showed um, a good reason to developers to get um, designers on board. Already in the start, uh, already way before writing code, but also to let them uh, participate to, uh, to the project because they can take off uh, your shoulders a lot of load, which, uh, for example, when you're learning a new language, it's quite difficult if you have also to think uh, where should I put uh, that button? Which font should uh, the text be? What should I write there? And in this sense, um, this is my uh, Twitter handle, Julian underscore Sparber, or uh, drop me an email. And yeah, thank you.
Yeah, please. Actually, since, since uh, let's say, my personal designer <laughs> um, is quite involved in GNOME and the GNOME de de uh, designer, so he actually knows what he can do with GNOME technology. But I often talk to him, no, we can't do that because it's way too complicated to, to implement. And then we had... had uh, really often uh, front and forth and um, back and forth to discuss how we could do something. And it's an uh, interaction between two people or more people. It's not like um, a designer is coming to your project and he, he is saying, we have to do it th this way. You, you, you will on the way also learn, you can also learn something about design and then um, create together something like a project. Does that uh, respond to your question? Oh, I have to uh, um, repeat the question. The question was, can you repeat the question? <laughs> OK, the, uh, the question was if GTK is limiting uh, the possibility of implementing a design proposed by designer. Other questions? Yeah, please. Uh, I think the easy way to share files on a, on a network is to uh, start a web server. It's, it's cross-platform, and you can start it, share, send a link by, with your messenger, and then you can just download it on any, any device. Yeah, uh, so it, it wasn't actually a question. It uh, was more a suggestion. Oh, I, I using lip. Uh, the question was, what I'm, uh, what am I using on the back end to send files? It's libsoap, which is a um, uh, web server. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a basic web server a library, a GTK library. You, it's part of glib. Uh, how does the client know? Um, the question was, isn't it easier that um, the client is pulling the file than pushing it? It's actually that way. Like the, um, the, per, uh, the computer which is sending a fa file is sending a notification that I'm offering you that file. You can download it from that URL. So it's actually the same as sharing, uh, uh, creating your own HTTP server by, uh, from the terminal and then sharing the link with somebody. It's the same thing, just with a different user experience. I, I do that all the time, like creating a, a HTTP server and sharing the link, but it's too much work, actually. And the discovery is handled by uh, um, Avai. Do I pronounce it right? I don't think so. Ah, yeah, that would be also nice, but different use case, actually, because you still have to uh, to use, like, Telegram or uh, any instant messenger to share it. Yeah, yeah. The question in two parts. The uh, first part is, uh, is this, does this have anything to do with um, people nearby functionality of, uh, uh, the of the laptop itself. Of the GNU. Yeah. Um, and the, the, the second part of this is that mm. I, I know that that does communicate with Max uh, quite well. So with Max, sorry? What? Mac, uh, ah, Mac, yeah. Mac. Okay. Uh, um, so is, is it possible that this would be uh, interoperable with uh, Airflow? Um, I actually don't know how AirDrop works. Uh, I don't have a Mac, so I n couldn't try it on my own computer and didn't got, got my, uh, never around to try it. Uh, but it, it could be possible. 
we are using actually Avai, which is an implementation of Bonjour. And um, so it could be possible, but we should, uh, like the airdrop is proprietary, and I think, is, is it proprietary? I think so. Yeah, I think so that, that they didn't. Uh, I don't think they allow uh, third per, uh, people to develop applications for that, I guess. Thanks. Other questions? The, the project, by the way, is public on, uh, on gitlab.gnome.org, but you can find it also on GitHub, or just uh, search for teleport. You will find it. <laughs>